This video will show you how to create and add products to your web store. For this video, we're assuming that you've prepared your product images, descriptions, and prices ahead of time. Let's get started. Log in to your Miva admin. Click on the products link in the left navigation. This will show you a list of all your available products. Click on the add product button on the right of the page. First, Enter a product code. This is a unique ID that's used for order processing and inventory purposes. For our product, we'll use the product code CHOC01 because it's chocolate. Be sure not to use spaces. Enter a product name. This is the name that will be shown to your customers. The category code allows you to associate your product with an existing category. Since we're going to hit categories in another video, we're going to leave this blank for now. Enter a price for your product. Next, enter the cost for this product. This is an optional item. You can use this to help determine the profit margin for your product sold. Enter the weight for this product in pounds. This is used for calculating shipping costs when your shipping fees are based on weight. Next, enter a description for your product in the description text box. I happen to have one already prepared, so I'm just going to paste it right in. If your product is taxable, make sure the taxable checkbox is checked. This will allow you to apply state-based sales tax for your product. You'll set up your sales tax later. And since we want the product to be active on the website, we'll check the active box. It's good to note that if you ever need to turn a product off on your website, you can come to this page, uncheck the active box, and click the update button. Now we're going to go ahead and click the add button to add our product. You can quickly look at the product by clicking the links button. Here's what our product looks like so far. It looks pretty good, but we seem to be missing our product image, so let's add that now. Let's go back to the Miva admin and click on the images tab. This is where we'll upload our thumbnail image that will be used on our category page and the full sized image that will be used on our product details page. I have a couple images already prepared so let's upload them. Click the upload button next to thumbnail image. Now click the browse button and find your image on the computer and click open. Finally, click the upload button. You'll be able to tell that the graphic was uploaded correctly because you'll see the path of the image in the thumbnail image text box. Now let's upload the full-sized image. Alright, both our images have been uploaded, so let's click the update button. It looks like it was updated. Let's go check out our product details page. I'm going to refresh. And there's our product image on the product details page. It looks great. Now I have a good description for my product here, but I want to put things like the ingredients of the product and additional information, which would go great down here. I'll show you how to do this by using the header and footer. Let's go back to the Miva admin and click on the header and footer tab. Just to give you a quick reference of where the header and footer information are displayed on the page, I'll put in some dummy information and click update. Let's go take a look at our product details page. I'll refresh. You can see that the header appears above the title at the top of the page and the footer appears below the add to basket button. You could put any information you want in these and they can be different for each product. Let's go back to the admin. For the header, I'll type in best value. And for the footer, I have some prepared HTML that includes bullet points with additional information and the ingredients. Let's click the update button and take a look at our product details page. As you can see, the best value has appeared in the header and down here in the footer we have additional information. It looks great and you've just added a product to your website. One final note. Let's go back to the Miva admin. For this product, you'll see that a bunch of new tabs have been created once we added our product. 
the Related Products tab, Attributes, Categories, Upsold, and Meta Tag Settings. We're going to hit these tabs in other videos, so stay tuned.